A German publication reports fugitive leaker Edward Snowden is spilling even more secrets. Der Spiegel says documents obtained from Snowden show Washington spied on European Union offices in the U.S. and in Brussels. Martin Schulz, the president of the European Parliament, says, quote, I am deeply worried and shocked about the allegations of U.S. authorities spying on EU offices. If the allegations prove to be true, it would be an extremely serious matter which will have a severe impact on EU-U.S. relations. U.S. Vice President Joe Biden has asked Ecuador not to grant any asylum application from Snowden, but Ecuadorian President Rafael Correa told Biden that Snowden hasn't made a request and that in any case, no such application can be made until Snowden is in Ecuador. He also says he's requesting extradition from the U.S. of two Ecuadorians wanted on corruption charges. I already spoke to Vice President Joe Biden yesterday, and he told me that Mr. Snowden is a fugitive of Ecuadorian justice. He does not have a passport, and I told him, the ISEAS are fugitives of the Ecuadorian justice, and they don't have passports either, and you don't extradite them. Am I explaining myself? So then, let's be coherent. Let's have rules for everything, because there is a clear double standard here. If the U.S. is pursuing someone, everyone has to return him, independently of what he has denounced. But we have the ISEAS and other fugitives, Pedro Delgado, etc., with the difference that the ISEAS have already been sentenced, and they won't give him back to us. As for Snowden, President Correa is quoted by the French news agency AFP as saying Russia will decide the Americans' destination.